Matt Redman. He's very well known for his work with Soul Survivor. He's a worship leader and is touching thousands of people through his worship. Soul Survivor is um, a youth organisation. We're trying to reach out to people in their teens and twenties. Um, and uh, we get together to have some conferences. This year we had about 10,000 people at the two conferences and we just worship the Lord. We try and learn about Him. Um, we intercede together and then all with a big emphasis on going from that place to live the life where, wherever we've come from. Um, that started opening up in a few other countries as well. This year we've been to Finland and Holland and Norway. Um, we had a particularly special time in South Africa. That's the third time we've been there but um, we're starting to do a Soul Survivor event out there and um, basically the Lord's doing the same things, raising up a passionate people, you know, people don't expect young people to be interested in God and, you know, to want to go to church, but uh, we're seeing that, you know, there's a, like a, something building, you know, there's more and more young people coming and um, South Africa was special particularly because it's been such a broken nation, you know, and the whole world's been watching it and uh, it's in, within that context the same things have been happening, you know, and we've had the Zulu folk come and the, the you know, the Afrikaners and the, the Indian folk and the you know, the white folk, all, all coming together and with one voice, worshipping God. And so that, that really made it a very special time. We were at a conference called New Wine and um, the, they kept, the band kept moaning about how much I waste paper because we write a song list out and, and I always always insist they have a fresh piece of paper and all this. And uh, so one time, one of the more ecologically friendly of them said, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to use the back of the one we used last time. So he wrote it out. It was the drummer actually. And we got up to play, uh, and he actually had the wrong side, so he had last time's list up, and the rest of the band had the new list. He clicked into the first song, and it went horribly wrong, about 5,000 people there. Young people are, are, are being drawn to Jesus, you know, just glimpsing something of who he is and what he's done. And, you know, it's the Holy Spirit that's doing that, because he's doing it as a soul survivor, but he's doing it all over this nation. You know, he's, uh, you can see little pockets of young people springing up, then a celebration springing up, then a you know, a youth group, a real strong youth group, or a youth organisation. And in fact, it's not even in this country, that's really, you know, putting it too small. It's, we've seen it this year in all those different countries, and we've only just glimpsed a tiny bit of what God's doing. He's drawing people to himself, and it's really exciting just to be involved in just a little bit of that. We want people to be singing to and speaking to and engaging with God. And so I, I try and just get out of the way, you know, once it feels like that's happening and, and just let it happen. I'm involved in really very much in the church, Soul Survivor Watford, and um, you know I go to a home group there and, and I guess we encourage each other and, and you know pray for each other and just support each other. Is it important do you think? Yes, yeah, really important, especially if you're travelling around a bit because that's not reality, you know, to to be travelling around and people are being nice to you, you know, and you, you sometimes stay in somewhere that you know, a nice hotel or something, and, and but that's not reality, you know, and, and it's really good to have people who know you and they know y you who you are, because what happens when you're leading worship from a stage, people see you doing one thing, and they see you, you know, that's the thing you do, you know, but they don't see me bickering, you know, and, and moaning and all that business, so it's good to have that, it checks you, you know. I think worship's really at the heart of a church, you know, because a church meets to have a relationship with God, and worship in songs, a fantastic way of expressing that, you know, to come together and, and to sing to him. Um, but it's in that place we do get changed, you know. We, we, uh, when we spend time in, in God's presence, we become like him. You know, in life, whatever you expose yourself to, you end up reflecting, you know, that's why people don't want their kids watching bad TV and stuff. And so if you expose yourself to God's presence, then you start to become like him. So worship's really important in that sense.